I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're gonna thrive, but we'll give you some time to mourn. It, is it more? I don't know if this is or morning. Sure. Like, girl, just record. Just start recording. Just hit, just hit record. Fuck. Yeah. Just hit record. Damn it. Hit record. <laughs> 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 Does this happen to people? Does this happen to people for real? A rich nigga, a figure, that's my type. Okay, so I, I I don't even have the words to my life is changing. And I got fucking laid off. Like I this is one of those things that you just don't like really prepare for, I guess. And that's how we're gonna start this video. Okay. <laughs> that's wild that they didn't even mention you. I, I don't think they know. I don't know if they know and I didn't wanna gag everybody. I mean, they were gagged already knowing that their fucking boss is fired, like. Okay guys, so I've sat and I've thought and still in a very fucked up situation, yes. It is about to be 8 p.m. and I am just gonna go and have a meal at one of my favorite restaurants because that is what's gonna make me happy. Okay guys, so this is so odd. Um, if you saw any of the content I made yesterday, which you did because you're here, um, I got laid off. And I don't know if I said this yesterday, but I am absolutely not sad by this. I'm more so stressed out. I cried a lot yesterday. It was pretty ugly, but most of that is because I just don't know what to do. Um, I've been working with the company, or I was working for the company that I had been working for since my junior year in college. So professionally, I absolutely know nothing besides them. Now, I'm in a space where I can do all the things that I've ever wanted, truthfully. Luckily, I did some savings into that, and I'll be cool. But this is just a very stressful time for me and it's gonna be very trying. I have no doubt in my mind though that I will figure it out. Um, I'm blessed in the sense that I can move back home if need be. I don't wanna do that. I think that I'll probably scream, cry, and kick the way there the whole time, but whatever, child, whatever. Um, there will be a lot of lifestyle changes for me. Um, I will be posting on here more if you guys know one of my main reasons for like not posting as much on YouTube was because I started working needed to pay rent X Y and Z and my job was doing that for me well now I have nothing else to do and uh, and for a long time I've wanted this like I literally have been manifesting this very moment. Now it's just my time to show. I've been saying that I hated this job. I've been saying I want something different. I've been saying I want new opportunities. And now it's literally being handed to me. And unlike a lot of people, it's being handed to me with a severance package. Um, it very much so is still fuck them. But I'm glad that, I'm glad that it happened this way. Essentially, I am being forced out of the nest. I have faith in myself. My friends have faith in me. My support system has faith in me. And shit. I've done so many things in life that have prepared me for this moment. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know like my home situation or anything like that, but I grew up in a two-parent household that when I was 13, it became a one-parent household because my dad was incarcerated. My life has changed several times. I've been through so many things that have um, made me stronger that I know that I have the capacity to deal with something like this because it's small. The only thing that stresses me out is the thought that the job market is absolute shit right now. You have bitches on TikTok talking about they, <laughs> they have not been able to find a job in six months, six months to a year. 
I need to find a job that's able to like pay as much as my last one, if not way better, because I'll be an MBA by September. Let me just stop ranting. Let me just stop ranting. But yes, all of this is happening. I have a lot going on in my head, but yeah, guys, you're coming with me. You are coming with me. And I'll probably end up like naming this series Laid Off Diaries or something like that. But I have an exciting day. I'm going to go see Mariah the Scientist today and I'm not going to let this shit get me down. So, yeah. And then I'm gonna take you to go be groomed and you're gonna go pee. Oh! I'm gonna try to make this the last time that I speak on this situation negatively. However, the world is literally playing in my motherfucking face. Today, I was on my way to the grocery store and I ran over, I guess, a piece of metal. So I get a notification on the car. The car is saying that it needs to be serviced because of the tire. So not only do I have to take the company car back to the company that I got laid off from, I no longer have company access to the roadside assistance platform to, to get assistance for the fucking tire. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Okay guys, so this is the same day. It is Wednesday, April 10th, and I did make it to the grocery store. I'm in a better mood after the whole ordeal with the tire. I picked up Pixie. She got groomed. She's cute. Um, so there is a little bit of positivity in my day. This is pretty much where this vlog ends. Um, I don't really even know whether it should be called a vlog or a life update or a, oh my God, this is a reset. This crazy shit just happened to me. But um, I can go ahead and guarantee you this. I'll be making more content because what else do I have to do? Like, I mean, in all actuality, guys, I'm still a full-time student, so I have that going for me. I graduated with my MBA in September. This won't be the end, but I definitely took three days to grieve the loss of my job that I hated anyway. So, yeah, we're here. And as I am working through all of this BS, just like, you know, many of my fellow Gen Zers, I'm going to be documenting it and you guys are going to be with me. So 